like fun and magical world and it's medieval, it's fantasy. Is this the type of world that you want to kind of draw people into? Yeah, I, th I think when you're doing something medieval and fantasy, you've got a lot more scope for things that you can do. Premiere night for the first film, very exciting. How does it feel for it to have all come together and the, the fact that people are going to see it now as well? Like everyone's going to watch the film. Yeah, I think if I had hair, it would have gone totally great. <laughs> the film's really fun, it rattles through, it's exciting and, and I hope people enjoy it because, you know, we've got a second one coming. Yeah, exactly. So you have to enjoy this. Yeah. From performing covers online to others performing his music, Hurricane Harvey is blowing through your radio stations, streams and online content and now he's blowing into What's Up TV. Now in October last year, you actually performed at the Radio 1 Teen Awards alongside Rita Ora, Little Mix, Liam Payne. So what did it feel like to tread the same boards as them on that night? You know, it was like a big, big moment for me. Like the biggest moment when I was actually, you know, when I walked down the corridor and you saw all the stars and the names oh and I saw my name as well saying Harvey and I was like, that's me. I've got a picture next Maybe. to it as well. Now, as you can see, this is a true family event. So, you know, mom, dad, auntie, uncle can take part in Tough Mudder, which is just over here. But then you've got the kids doing mini mudder. But I think we can tell who is working just a little bit harder. So I've just come across a mud monster. What's your name? Sam. Sam, um, did you enjoy the course? Yeah, it was really <laughs> exciting. Sixty percent of women with type 1 diabetes will have experienced an eating disorder by the age of 25. These type 1 diabetics are struggling with this debilitating condition and putting their lives on the line every day. You're providing education and training for healthcare professionals and also for members of parliament as well. So what have you seen that the government have done so far to raise awareness for this condition? You know, where do you start? Do you think about, try okay, trying to get it a name? Well, that's important, but in the meantime, people are dying. I kind of think that it's time for us to be proactive instead of reactive. Sufferers of this condition are waiting months for the correct treatment, and some have even died waiting for the right care. Research and training for healthcare professionals is being provided in more areas than ever before. However, there's still so much more to be done. And the more that we talk about this problem, the more likely it is to be medically recognised. We're here at the Super Saturday of Sport 2017 in Chiswick. Now this event was set up to honour the legacy of the 2012 Olympics. This is a free event and as you can probably see around me, there's adults and kids alike coming together to find a new sport and activity to get involved in. Let's find out what people think of this fabulous event. Claire Balding, you are here opening the event today. How does it feel to be here? I just love the fact this event has grown so much out of one, you know, because of London 2012 and the desire to get more kids involved in more different sports, Kirsten said, right, let's start this thing in Chiswick. Oh, I think that I found 